Ireland opened their World Cup campaign with a bonus point win. They scored 12 tries in their 82-8 win over Romania. After Gabriel Rapuna's early try for Romania, Ireland hit back. Johnny Sexton marked his return with 24 points, including two tries, as he surpassed Ronan O'Gara as Ireland's record World Cup scorer. Ireland recording their biggest ever World Cup win. It's a good feeling, good to be up and running. Um, I'm sure as we look back on it, there's definitely things that we'll pick up on. But at the same time, looking at the scoreline, looking at a lot of the tries we scored, some of the attack, uh, it's definitely, definitely pretty pleasing and a good place to start. What was it like being out there? Johnny said it was burning at times, it was just that hot in the stadium. Yeah, roasting definitely. Um, tried to stay in the shady part as best as possible, but it wasn't always always possible. Um, we had the water breaks which helped and then obviously there, it was a little bit scrappy and the ball was slippy, so there was quite a few scrums. Um, so there was, there was breaks here and there, but it was, it was melting, yeah. And just final question for me, what was it like having your captain Johnny Sexton out there with you again? Six months he's been waiting for this moment today. He's such a key figure for us. Um, obviously, he's been training with us and he's been there behind the scenes, leading things big time. But having him back on the pitch, just the impact he makes, um, he empowers everyone else around him. So, yeah, it's key having him back. We came into this game sort of, you know, we're going to judge the game on our own standards. Um, and like we said in the first half, probably had a few, few errors, simple errors, and um, gave the ball back to them too easily. Um, but I thought in the second half, really put the. the Throw it, um, the foot on the sword, and um, you know I thought it was it was a good team performance uh, to finish off like a. The conditions as, as tough as they looked at and felt for the, some of the spectators. Yeah, no, it was it was hot out there, um, but again, sort of, we sort of challenged ourselves to to remain mentally calm, and make good decisions under fatigue, um, and yeah, like like I said, we made a few errors, but it, uh, all in all, it's, um, it was a pretty good performance. How brutal were conditions out there? Yeah, extremely hard. I think well, we've got a bit of a tan already. Uh, um, yeah, extremely tough. Like we, we've kind of been well prepared. We've had a lot of training camps, but it doesn't seem to get in too much easier. The heat. 82 points in there. How much more is it to come from this Ireland squad? Uh, I think yeah, there's loads. Like obviously it's a big scoreline, but um, we're, we're still feeling that we've so much more left in us. So we're just gonna have to keep ramping it up because we're gonna just face bigger games coming up around around the corner. So we'll have to keep improving. Star man, thanks for your time. What, what does it mean for you and your family that you are now? A World Cup player for Ireland. Um, it's it's a massive. I think it's, it's every kid's dream in Ireland to represent your country at a World Cup. So it's hugely special. My family done so much to get me here. So it's, it's a class. England kick off against Argentina in less than an hour and a half. Joe Marchant starts at centre for England and insists the squad can't wait to get going. We've talked so much about um, how big a World Cup is, and and for a lot of us, it's our first time. And um, and it goes back to the pressure kind of thing. They've tried to. Um, create an environment where it's uh, where there's a lot less pressure and it's just about going and expressing yourself and um, and yeah just showing what we can do as a group. So yeah, we're all um, we're all on board with it and we're all excited. Scotland get underway tomorrow against defending champion South Africa. Head coach Gregor Townsend admits they're underdogs but are capable of an upset. Success um, by delivering what we would believe we're capable of um, and. And doing that for long, longer periods, uh, but when, when when you talk in those terms, you probably interpret, "Oh, that's attack." No, it's not. It's it's defence. It's um, it's managing when times go against you. It's set piece. Uh, it's um, leadership. It's all those things. Um, and we we've shown enough. We've got enough of that evidence over the past 12 months that we're able to do that. Uh, we will be tested, um, no doubt. There'll be times where South Africa have dominance, South Africa have points on the board. Uh, we, there'll be times when we aren't able to execute things as well as we like. Um, and that's not because it's uh, the first game of the World Cup, it's because of the opposition and what they, they bring with their pressure. But we, we've got to find a way to win. Um, and that's what, that's what this World Cup is about, finding a way to win. So success is, is obviously winning. A lot of excitement going into the game. I think uh, everyone watched the, the opening game last night and started getting into the, to the feeling of the, of the tournament and, and, and the whole World Cup in itself. Um, I think tomorrow, yeah, obviously going to be a massive challenge, something that we are really excited for and something that um, I believe that we'll be up for. Um, on the, the weather, <coughs> I think it's something that, that we as a, as a team have been embracing. We, 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 
a lot prefer the, the heat to the rain. So um, I think the guys have been really happy, um, enjoying the heat, and um, I think we've adapted well. Well, currently in Pool C, Australia taking on Georgia, and it is Australia uh, that have hit back with a try of their own. Georgia getting the first try of the second half, but Ben Donaldson crossing for Australia to take the score to 26-8, their third try of the match. Donaldson converting himself to make it 28-8. Uh, remember, Australia not only looking for their first win at the World Cup here, uh, but also looking for their first win under Eddie Jones, their first win of 2023. But yep, 28-8 they lead at the moment. <laughs>